I want you to know that all the people of Ukraine to know as well, the American people have been with you every step of the way, and we will stay with you. We will stay with you for as long as it takes. Anytime you hear that phrase, for as long as it takes, from especially an American politician, just run for your life. Hello and welcome again to the Edge Politics Podcast. Geopolitical Queen here with today's episode on never relying on a fly-by-night partner, especially in politics. There are some characters described as sugar daddies. These are the kind of people who sometimes... God should forbid them crossing your path as a young lady and in the case of politics, as a political father. They grab you at a time when you are just trying to manage things with your empty pocketed young boyfriend. They come in and promise to take you to heaven only to drop you off in hell. They make you assume that the sky is your limit, spoil and pamper you with whatever you ask for, and sing the sweet melody of, oh, where have you been all this while, to you like some lullaby. Then one fine morning, his madam calls him to inform him that one of the kids fell and broke his leg and off he swiftly goes like some blitz asking you to manage things yourself as he has very important things to take care of all of a sudden you start freezing under 40 degrees sun or start sweating under minus 10 degrees freezing winter weather. This is the kind of hell that the United States has dropped Ukraine off to to manage the rest themselves. And how did this happen? Barely a year ago in 2022, this twerking former comedian in Kiev was touted as the modern day Churchill. His murky unshaven face was plastered on all magazines in his sweaty green gear and cargo pants. Times magazine even gave him the man of the year honor. His puppeteers handed him his script to read out from parliament to parliament, except in African parliaments, of course. They told him they would spoil and pamper him for as long as it takes. They opened their wallets as wide as they could till every hole in the wallets were filled up with their shite. Congressmen and women were falling over themselves to touch this former comedian like Jesus walking on the streets of Damascus. Not even President Biden could spur the opportunity of massaging his twerking bum in the view of commerce. Then, old wife Israel came calling because a group called Hamas had given her a bloody nose. And like Job, off goes Sugar Daddy USA in a blitz. As it stands now, the former comedian Zelensky is warned to start negotiations with Russia in the preparation of his army commander, Saluzny, as the next strong puppet man is underway. 
Even the media in Ukraine is discussing this publicly. Everybody seems to know something about this, except Zelensky himself. Neither NATO or the European Union would accept this experimental project Ukraine in their fold. So for what was all this madness from sugar daddy USA for? Just to reach, just to weaken Russia? An impossibility. Well, some of us told this former comedian to look before leaping. But he wouldn't listen. And here we are. Take a listen to some of the vain promises he had. Discuss with President Zelensky. The people of Ukraine are steeled for this struggle ahead. And the United States is going to continue to stand with you. Today, I approve the next tranche of U.S. security assistance to Ukraine, including more artillery, more ammunition, more anti-tank weapons, and next week, the first U.S. Abrams tanks will be delivered to Ukraine. We also focused on strengthening Ukraine's air defense capabilities to protect the critical infrastructure that provides heat and light during the coldest and darkest days of the year. Committed to help Ukraine build a force capable of ensuring Ukraine's long-term security. Capable of deterring future threats against sovereignty, territorial integrity, and freedom, which are underway now. Because that's what this is all about, the future. The future of freedom. America can never, will never walk away from that. That's why 575 days later we stand with Ukraine and will continue to stand with you, Mr. President. And that's why we're so proud of being able to be with you. Mr. President, we're, uh, we're with you and we're staying with Second, you. Second, we reached new agreements that will strengthen Ukraine's defense cap capabilities. Thank you so much. More details will be announced uh, shortly and shortly. I thank United States of America and Mr. President for the new defense package for Ukraine, a very powerful package. Thank you so much. And it has exactly what our soldiers need now. Yeah. We will continue to work on the peace formula and, uh, and the preparing inaugural summit so thank you so much, not only for these points, for all these points, for all these 575 days. So what do you think? Has Ukraine been hoodwinked by the sugar daddy syndrome? All the United States is just an unreliable partner. Well, kindly leave your comments in the comment section below. And thanks for tuning in. I will be back with the next broadcast. Good day.